Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. And today we have some casting news from Star Trek Discovery. And I want to talk to you all about the good, the bad, and the ugly of what that may mean. All right, so let's start with the good. The good is we have cast to play the captain of the Discovery, Jason Isaacs. Now, some of you probably know Jason Isaacs from the Harry Potter movies, um, The Patriot with Mel Gibson, but uh, a movie that I never hear mention a lot with Jason Isaacs that I think really um, lends itself or is more geared toward his acting chops in science fiction TV is, or movies or cinema is Soldier. And uh, Soldier was about, it's actually um, classified as a sequel, not a prequel or a sequel, but a sequel. And that um, is supposedly uh, takes place in the same time and universe as Blade Runner. And um, uh, Jason Isaac plays a major who is um, basically the head of a bioengineer group of uh, warriors, uh, soldiers. Um, and uh, this movie really, you know, shows um, his ability to do science fiction movies really good. I really loved him in this movie, and he's a great actor. So those are the good parts. Let's get to the bad parts. Isaac is um, it's playing uh, a character named Captain Lorca, uh, who's going to be the captain of the Discovery. So the problem with that is it creates a situation where um, they won't be going with the Captain Garth of Iser story, seemingly, uh, which is very disappointing to me, not only because I like that story and I, I thought it would have been a great idea to keep a familiar story going in this in this new Star Trek show taking place in the past. Um, um, and, and in addition to that, Jason Isaac, he just has this really great talent to display um, a, a type of charisma and arrogance at the same time, which is uh, <laughs> which would have been quite fitting for the. Uh, Captain Garth of Iser character, you know, because he 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 does become a megalomaniac. So, um, uh, Jason Isaacs would have done a great job had he uh, been cast to portray Captain Garth of Iser. So I I I I think that's a missed opportunity. But I also want to say that maybe that doesn't exactly mean we won't get the Captain Garth of Iser story because it could be that uh, we know that. We will be following um, the show from the point of view of, uh, of the Lieutenant Commander, played by, I believe her name is Shaniqua Williams. But um, uh, sometimes in Federation vessels, the first officer doesn't always get the command. You know, I think we saw that happen with Spock. Uh, so just because um, Jason Isaacs is coming in and he'll be portraying Captain Lorca and the new Captain of the Discovery, that doesn't mean there wasn't a captain before. So we don't know that information, but in any event, uh, if they were go going to do the um, Captain Garth Advisor story, I wish they would have used uh, Jason Isaacs to play him because I can't think of a better actor that would have really nailed um that role. Um, I think he would have been awesome in it. And, um, you know, it, it's like it would have been a tailor made role for him because he's always playing these arrogant, confident characters. <laughs> and he does an excellent job. And I, as you guys have seen in the Harry Potter movies, I'm sure. Uh, and what's the ugly about it? Well, I think the ugly is just going back to uh, the situation what happened with. Um, the, the Axonar movies, you know, uh, the lawsuits and things like that with CBS. And uh, those have been settled now, which is great. But, uh, you know, I, I was kind of uh, happy about them in a way because I thought that that was a uh, signal that uh, the reason they were suing for the Axonar uh, movies was, you know, because they were trying to protect the storyline based on Captain Garth of Iser. So far, that's seeming not to be the case. Uh, whatever role um, 
Jason Ives is going to play as Captain Lorca, uh, whether it be an extender role or just a brief cameo type roles. We'll have to wait and see what happens with that. But uh, again, excited about the, uh, Jason Isaacs coming aboard. You know, he's a great actor. He's gonna, he's gonna. Uh, that's definitely a plus for Star Star Trek Discovery. But uh, disappointed about the Captain Garth of Isar story. Uh, let me know, guys, if you would have liked to see him in that role. If you know the actor, you know the character. Um, don't forget to uh, like and subscribe. And until next time, guys, take care.